Hi everyone and welcome to another video and today I'll be doing something a bit different and we're going to edit a photo together. So we're just going to pop right in here to Lightroom and the first thing that you guys can see is the photo that we're going to edit today which is of a lovely abandoned stone building. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to up the shadows just to get rid of that that harsh black and take down the highlights so that we can get a nice sort of sky next off we're going to just contrast so we can get that nice gritty look to it and what i personally want to do is give it a nice warm color so we're going to just slide that temperature just up slightly Ooh, not too far so one thing that i always do when i do my edits is instead of just going on to the temperature to change whatever like blue to um from blue to yellow i will go on to the HSL slider and edit them individually. So the green I kind of want to take down a bit into that more orangey kind of look to it. And we are going to up the saturation and make it a bit darker just to give it that moody sort of feeling to it. And now we're, we really want that grass kind of like that orangey sort of color. So that's exactly what we are going to do here. Moving on to the orange, that's the sort of color that we do want, just to get that moody kind of feeling. So we are going to mess with that a little bit. So that is the colors that I am messing about with now. Um, so I kind of want to give a slight touch of dehaze, just to kind of darken down everything. And because it is a brick building, I kind of want to pull out some of them, some of them um, details in the woodwork. So we're going to just add a little bit of texture to everything that we see. So now what I want to do is control and plus to really zoom in to this photo. So this is what we kind of want to focus on. So what I'm going to do now is with a click K is I am just going to draw a mask on my building. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just to kind of separate this building from the rest of the photo. So what we're going to do is just paint it in like a coloring book. And we're just going to get all of that in. It's okay if you don't get everything in, like I said, but it is a start. So I always have the mask overlay on, so I know exactly what I'm editing. And now, oh, that's a few spots. There, that should be perfect for what I want to do. So now what we're going to do as we're just going to so you can see where the mask is going to change everything and that's not what we want we'll fix those after so what we want to do is go down to here and we just want to add in a little bit of clarity and we want that to stand out a little bit so what we're going to do is raise the whites and the contrast just to kind of give it that fill kind of take down the already textured wall give that a small head of clarity and what i'm going to do because because it's a kind of messy thing simply holding down the um, the alt button just to give that a small clean up there 
So anything we don't want to be changed, it's all going to go away. I could have done this in Photoshop, um, but I didn't need that much of a manipulation. So that's exactly why we are here. So we have balance with that. We bring that back out. Do you see the full photo? So what I want to do, click uh, bring up any edits that you've done. And what we're going to do is we're going to up them white and I might even try yeah, give that a touch of color. Bring down those highlights. We're going to raise up those shadows. And we are going. So if you scroll in too much, you get to the global settings, which we don't want. We want this highlighted section here. And we are simply going to add in the texture that I removed about five minutes ago. Um, so that looks good to me. Bring that back out. And now what I want to do is with a simple gradient filter, I want to bring down onto, there we go. So that gradient filter is going to stop there. We're just going to try and get a rough estimate of where that's going. Right. So we want the button there. So as you can see now, the gradient filter has given this weird blue color. So I am simply, whoops, simply going to color correct that by double tapping. And what we want to do is take down those highlights. We want to up that contrast a little bit just to give it a more gloomy kind of look. We're going to down the flags a little bit. And that's fine. Now what we're going to do is add a second gradient filter. And that purpose is going to be for the ground. Because um, that black sort of vignetting is something I'm not too fond of. So my whole thing is always don't up your exposure. I always up the shadows first to see if I can get any more detail out of them, which by the looks of it I can. Kind of down the blacks. So it's that nice, it's not too much of a netting, but it is that kind of um, going from the darkness all the way up to where it is. If that made sense, I don't know. Um, I'm going to give it a wee touch of contrast and that is going to be it. Um, what I might try, just because I can, we're going to add one more radial filter and this is going to go across the center of the photo. I want to get rid of that. So we're going to try and match the color of the sky here. And we are going to highlight here. So obviously I did try something, it didn't work. And so all we have to do is click K find where it is, and that's not the right one. Oh, sorry, that was my mistake. Click the radial filter, find where it is, which is here, right click, delete. And that is pretty much the way that I would edit very quickly. Um, I would probably paint out the sky or edit the sky in some other way, but this was just a very quick way of me showing you. Now, if I was going to post this photo on Instagram, I would hit C, not C. Sorry, I'm so used to um, 
the other one. Um, fix art. Yeah, art. And the aspect ratio for Instagram would be a one by one, which would crop it to this. Just probably getting some of that sky. And then that's the final photo. And that's what I will be posting. So I hope that you learned something from this video and I'll probably do something else more in depth probably um, more towards the Photoshop side of it. And we can learn together how to do more advanced techniques. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next tutorial and have a fantastic day.